Marilyn Olson of Big Fork has a uh, big task ahead of her. March 23rd, she's going to be going through the high desert near White Sands, New Mexico, not only carrying pounds of gear, 26.2 miles, but Marilyn, there's a bigger purpose while you're doing this. Um, I had uh, my oldest son, who is currently serving at 29 Palms, California, was deployed to Afghanistan. And during his uh, deployment in 2012, he lost several buddies during that uh, deployment um, to the hands of the Taliban as well as uh, IEDs, um, injuries, and some of them that were killed in action. Uh, So that motivated me to find some way to honor those gentlemen and... uh, Since then, it's grown to be much bigger. I've had other people come forward and uh, that have had relatives that were original survivors of the Bataan Death March uh, in the Philippines in 1942. And uh, I've just had many family members come forward and ask me to honor them as well. Were you aware this existed before you opted to take this march? Or was it something that kind of came into your consciousness and then you opted to to take this on? Um, I'm actually friends with a Marine mom based out of Franklin, Tennessee, who has done the march before and uh, she made me aware of it about a year ago and so I was was aware of it and then after uh, having stood beside a Marine mom during my son's deployment that lost her son it just became a way for me to consider that as a way to honor these young men. Well, considering their sacrifice in, I think, doing what you do or going to do and have done preparing for this, it's March the 23rd. You've got, what, 20 pounds roughly of gear you're going to be toting along with traversing through 26.2 miles, and I'm sure the terrain is not exactly going to be flat. Uh, No, there are some areas. uh, The weather this year actually is going to be much uh, milder than it has been in the past. Last year they even considered possibly canceling the event um, due to the heat. It's very dry heat, but at the same time, this is a windy time of the year for them. Last year they had 35-mile-an-hour winds that can make you feel as though you're standing still in time when you're giving it everything that you have. Uh, You may be walking a 21-minute mile and yet you feel like you're, you're walking as fast as possible. Um, so the wind is definitely a factor, and uh, just the dry heat. How many are going to be taking part? Uh, it ranges anywhere from about five to 7,000 people to include active, active duty military personnel, uh, wounded veterans, amputees. So um, it's definitely going to be a challenge. It's ranked as one of the top 30 full-distance marathons in the U.S., one of the 10 toughest in the U.S. And uh, even though the weather is supposed to be about 77 degrees, it's not to be taken lightly. Hydration and um, it's all about hydration and everything about your feet and caring for your feet. White Sands, New Mexico, is that upstate? Or where is it exactly in the state of New Um, Mexico? It's about, I, I guess... Central and to the actually, it's pretty much in the east. southern part of the state. Yeah, White Sands—that's uh, where the old uh, uh, nuclear testing facility was, exactly, or is, I guess. And so it's kind of southeast. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, down by Alamogordo. Yes. And from what you're telling us here, the purpose for doing what this is you're going to do is more than just a trophy. Oh, absolutely. I I could care less about um, a medal or. You know, of course, it's important to finish. It's all about, uh, you know, these gentlemen that have served. Um, My mission mainly is to inspire other people to continue to thank our men and women that serve currently and honoring our wounded and never forgetting the fallen by sharing their stories, getting to know what their stories are. Um, That will always be my mission beyond this march. Marilyn, what are you doing to prepare yourself for this now? Um, I do everything from weightlifting, making sure that I have my, my back strong, uh, do put a lot of miles in my combat boots. Uh, I've snowshoed with my combat boots just to try and 
prepare myself for the sand by snowshoeing in the, in the snow and getting my ankles and my calves uh, fired up a little bit for that. Mm-hmm. Um, I, it, a lot of it is, is walking, doing inclines and uh, a lot of trail hiking. How about uh, how about uh, food supplements, things like that? Are you uh, mainly the hydration is alternating between water and electrolytes. Uh, that's going to be very important on this. As far as food goes, I haven't really decided how much solid food I'm actually going to consume during this event. Um, sometimes that can mess with your digestive system, so. Uh, I may just turn to liquid calories. Uh, Hammer Nutrition has been gracious enough to sponsor me with several of their products, um, which are used by endurance athletes. And uh, so they've, they've set me up with what I need as far as calorie intake, but hydration and alternating is so going to be important. 20 pounds on your back. What are you going to be carrying? Uh, anything from wicking socks and smart wool socks to just uh, be able to alternate. I mean, alternate out my socks every couple of miles, uh, stop, do some foot care. Um, I'm definitely going to have pictures and stories of all of the veterans that I'm, that I'm honoring during this event, which is about a dozen at this point. Um, I've got a 50 ounce water bladder and two 20 ounce water bottles that I'm carrying. Uh, I think there might be a five pound plate in there <laughs> the last time I looked. So just for some added weight. I assume that along the way they're going to have some hydration stations for you and some food and things like that. Absolutely. They even have IV stations. That's how serious it can get with uh, with people in the dry heat that maybe have come from lower elevations. I think the elevation there is roughly right around 5,300 feet. So mm-hmm. you have people coming at sea level. That's going to take a toll on them. Hopefully that doesn't uh, do anything for me, hopefully. Mm-hmm. Marilyn Olson of Big Fork, she will be uh, traveling to New Mexico a week from this Sunday is when this will happen, the 23rd. A marathon distance, the 25th annual Baton Memorial Death March to honor those veterans and active service men and women of the U.S. Armed Forces. It is also to remember those who have given the ultimate sacrifice for their uh, comrades in arms as well as country. Are there other like things, Marilyn, such as this that happen around the country that maybe we're not aware of that people like yourself are doing? There are uh, several events. The Semper Fi Fund um, has uh, various events throughout the year all over the nation. Uh, they, a majority, I believe, I want to say it's like 90 cents to 96 cents on the dollar um, of their donations actually go to serve our veterans for various services. Um, of course, the Wounded Warrior Project uh, also has various events, um, but the U.S. Marine Corps Marathon in Washington, D.C. is another one uh, that I hope to do next year. That's my goal, and I've even considered maybe the uh, China Wall and Combat Boots in t- 2016. So I've got a couple Marine moms that might want to do that with me. I hope your combat boots are better than the ones I wore. I hope so. <laughs> How fast do you think you'll get through these 26.2 miles? Uh, you know, it really depends a lot on the wind. Uh, if I do it in, in eight hours, I would jump straight in the air. But a lot of it really just depends on the weather. Uh, the wind can literally stop you in your boots um, at some point. But there's a couple areas that have five to six inches of sand called the sand pit, and that's quite a ways into the event so even though you may be you know hiking and doing uh an 18 minute mile or 18 19 minute mile you could it could slow you down definitely so we'll just have to wait and see i guess marilyn any chance for us to watch this as it goes on i'm actually bringing a gopro camera with me so i will have uh some video that uh that i'll post that evening but as far as I know, I don't know that there will be anything live where there's any tracking per se. Um, if I come up with something as far as GPS tracking or whatever, I'll make sure to to let you know that in advance. Marilyn Olson of Big Fork, 26.2 miles through the high desert near White Sands, New Mexico, a week from this Sunday. Yes. Safe travels. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.